and then there were three. I always wanted to chime in about this. Now I got this channel, I can release my thoughts and give my opinion on these mysterious deaths that happened back in the day. Too raw for TV. Some guys died from natural causes. Some guys died from car accidents. And some guys were getting shot. Too raw for TV. We're going to take a closer look at this, y'all. And a member of Tupac Shakur's entourage, a witness to the shooting that left the rapper mortally wounded, has himself been killed. The murder on Sunday is further complicating an investigation already hindered by uncooperative witnesses. UPN Sue Keenan has the story. He was a rapper who toured with Tupac Shakur. 19-year-old Yafeu Fula was shot in the head early Sunday morning on the third floor of the housing project where he was visiting his girlfriend. She found him slumped on the hallway floor, said he'd made a joke as he answered the door. He said, yeah, what if there's somebody coming to kill me? And he said, we all started laughing, like, just get the door. And then he came and opened and he came to the door. And then you heard the gunshot. All right, guys, these are documents of the police report. This guy was willing to step up to the plate and report what he's seen. And a couple of days later, he was shot and killed. Now, you, you motherfuckers tell me. Is that fishy or what? He go to the police station to report what he's seen. A couple, a couple of days later, he end up getting shot in the, in the back of his fucking head. Y'all tell me. Too raw for TV. All right, also, we're going to take a look at this clip with Tupac's best friend, Mr. Frank Alexander, who released documentaries and all type of factual information regarding Tupac's mysterious death. The police at the second crime scene immediately were there. That's because the motherfuckers was in on it. The police were immediately there when I finally got there, which was a minute, maybe a minute behind him. They was there setting that shit up. You better believe it. So they were there. We pulled Pac out of the car. When we pulled him out of the car, we lined him down uh, on the side of the car and I'm kneeling down at this time and I'm talking to him like, Pac, man, Pac, Pac. And he's like, <sighs> he's trying to breathe. And then he goes, I can't, I can't breathe. All right, y'all. Now y'all see, that's Tupac's best friend. Basically sent him down the street. He sent his best friend down the street. Even though Tupac survived for six or seven days after that, that pretty much was it right there. So this man was invested in finding out what the hell happened to his best friend. And know what happened to him, y'all? Know what happened to him? So you motherfuckers tell me, am I tripping? It's mighty coincidental that every time somebody looks into this Tupac case or comes forward to release evidence, they end up getting killed. Too raw for TV. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. Peace.